Hey YouTube, Wendrazer here, today coming to you with another Transformers review. Uh, if you're seeing this now, happy Halloween, or happy late Halloween, or happy Day de los Muertes. Yeah, I also celebrate Day of the Dead too. Um, <laughs> but I hope everyone had a safe and fun and happy, uh, wonderful Halloween. Um, as for right now, today I'm going to be reviewing, uh, a new a figure from Transformers Legacy United. Today we're going to be looking at the new and improved version of Metal Hawk. Now, if you've seen my review of Metal Hawk before, you can tell something's different about this one compared to the one I have reviewed. This one, the color tone is a lot darker. The grays are darker. The red's a bit darker. The blue is darker. Even the yellows in his robot mode are darker. And I quite I actually do like it. Um, with the promotional images that were showed off for this figure, at first I was like, oh, well, new Metal Hawk. Another one. Repackaged. Yay. <laughs> but I ended up picking them up. I saw them, said, you know what? I'll go ahead and get them. I have the other one. Let's, let's have both. I don't have... The other one would be right now. He is in storage. Like, not behind me, but in a storage locker. So, there's no way of me getting him out. Um, I'll, I'm going to pull out Farak here, and I'll show you a size-by-size -size comparison of these two. All right, so I got Farak here. And you can basically see from the two jets, with this being Cyclonus mold, of everything that has been retooled on both of them just from Cyclonus alone and they're good figures they're both great molds I do love them I do love the retooling for both on how they both fit each character but out of both molds of the character or out of all three molds of the character Farak is my favorite Metal Hawk He's a Japanese character from uh, Mas from the Pretenders of Master Force, and that's the only reason why I have him. He goes with my Skullgrin, he goes with my Minerva, um, he goes with my Bomb Burst, so he goes with that that general line of or I might even want to say that general line of those Transformers. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, this is gonna be a very short review, so bear with me. I'm not going to show off his transformation, uh, the actual transformation for him uh, when I first have him is in my Legacy playlist, so you can find that there for the first Metal Hawk of Legacy Evolution. So, But I will show off the details and everything. We still do have the same sword, just done in a nice darker gray. We have these pieces here that become his guns, and they were the Evo Fusion. But they're both molded in that, in that nice dark gray plastic. And they do com combine like so. So we still get his traditional double blaster. And here we have the rest of the figure. And it's very nicely done. I do love it. I love the four intakes we have here. A nice red for the cockpit. I do actually do like the darker gray gray tone on him now compared to the lighter gray tone. And as for the wings, you can see the different uh, color tone. I'll flip it under here. You can see the different color tone where this is a darker plastic, this is a lighter plastic. But it's a very nice figure all around. So instead of skipping the transformation, I'm just going to go through it very quickly. It's the exact same. So just unpeg, unpeg. One peg, bring out, extend, back in place, spread apart, fold up, fold out, flip, close, fold up, flip out, fold, close. Make sure knees are straight, rotate, open, open, fold down, rotate. Can only go this way, can't go that way. Fold up, collapse in, collapse in, fold up chest, 
then that is the thing that's stuck. Collapse in, collapse in, fold up chest. If it wants to, it should fold over the gray pieces. They like to move. Then flip up the fist, click, flip up the fist, click. Take wing, fold back, take wing, fold back. There you go. There is Metal Hawker's robot mode. And I do apologize that I went through his transformation fairly quickly. Like I said, I have reviewed this figure before. This is just a darker, darker color scheme of what I have reviewed from the Legacy Evolution line. But this is what he, this is his robot mode. Then you can see the, the, I don't know how they're coming up in light, but the blues and the yellows here are also a lot darker. We do have some more darker gunmetal grays. His wrist, his hands are a darker gray. Uh, the yellow seems to be like a darker, more muted shiny, shiny uh, yellow, as opposed to the bright freaking yellow that we got in Evolution. But I'm okay with it. I digress. I just wanted to get the figure so I can see the comparisons of the two. And because I have this one in hand, I actually prefer this one over the one I do have. And I'm probably going to sell that one. But posability is still the same. Head is on that uh, swivel back and forth. And rotate side to side. And do a full 360. There is a swivel... Uh, 360 degree rotation there for the arm, in for in and out, bicep swivel, arm still bends at 90 degrees, wrists do rotate but because they clip into place you have to move them out in order to rotate them, but they do rotate, mine are a little stiff, uh, a bit stiffer now, like that's the thing, other thing on him, his joints are a lot stiffer, waist does rotate, legs still go far that far, back that far kick out that far thigh rotation that's not the knee bend but it does act as a double knee bend hold on so he has that this hinge here is the actual knee bend and feet move forward and back a little bit and they do uh, pivot But yeah, it's a good figure. I do like him. I do like how his color scheme is a lot darker now. Um, aside from the shoulders, they're still molded in red plastic, just painted over in uh, the dark blue. And this time it's actually a heavier uh, multi paint, uh, multi coat to paint, so it makes him look makes it look, look a lot better. Uh, give him his gun and his sword. Uh, very nice. He can peg the sword onto his back as usual. Using that hexagonal peg, it will peg sideways. And you can take these. It's always hard to unpeg them with one hand. And if you want, just keep him pegged onto his legs. And you have to have these to where, instead of going this way, they have to peg the way they are in vehicle mode. So he does have that for his weapon storage. Uh, size by size comparison with other Transformers. My Ratchet or Ironhide here is a bit of a floppy mess right now. So here he is next to Movie Ironhide. And here he is next to my legacy Megatron. But yeah, I do like the new look on uh, Metal Hawk here. I do like the darker colors. I have, know I've said that several uh, several times throughout the duration of this video. Um, I also, again, apologize for it being a short video. But I do like the coloring on him. I do like how it's a lot darker. I like how the blue on his eyes pop a little bit more. So very nice. 
But yeah, if you missed out on Metal Hawk in the evolution line of Legacy, now's the time to pick him up. Get him. And th this darker color scheme does it does suit him a lot better compared to what he to his brighter self. But yeah. Pick him up. He's a must have. I'm Windraiser. That's Metal Hawk. Catch you on the next review. Sorry, it's so short.